Hi there, I want to take a look at some basic tasks in Photoshop. Um, firstly, cutting down or trimming an image. In Photoshop, that's known as cropping. Uh, and to do this, we're going to use the crop tool, which is this little icon over here. Trims or expands the edges of an image. Um, cropping is something they used to do in photography. Um, and there was a a cropping frame which looks very much like this. Um, click it to activate it and you will get these uh, little white features on the corners of the image. Um, if you left click and drag um, you can move these things around freely um, like this. Um, I'm just clicking and dragging around um, also, if you left click on the image and hold it down, you can drag the photo around within the crop frame. Um, we've also got an option up here to lock in a ratio. Um, now these tend to relate to pho photographic size papers, like 16 by nine or four by five ratios. You can type these in so you could go three by two and that will give you that ratio which you then can clear up here if you don't want it anymore uh, the point of uh, cropping an image is to make the selected area a little bit more interesting so um, I'm kind of dragging this in trying to get um, a little bit of foreground information and lose some of this background stuff I don't particularly want um, something like that. Um, these grids, you can see these little white lines. There's a rule of thirds grid. Um, the idea with these is you have something of interest on at least three of the points. So if I drag that up there, so we've got maybe a point on that point, point on this bit of wall over here. Um, then hopefully it should make us a, a pleasantly cropped image. Um, if you uncheck delete cropped pixels, if you make a mistake, you can go back to how you had it before. Once you're happy with the, the crop and your image is trimmed um, to what you like, hit OK, and there you will get your cropped image. Um, this is showing up as 3,000 uh, 350 pixels by 1980 pixels um, which is just size uh, image size um, you can change this to millimeters or inches or centimeters um, if you want to print it out at a known size if you change it to centimeters and you say I want it 20 centimeters wide the height will be changed automatically because we've locked a, a ratio um, so it doesn't stretch and skew your image. So if I click that and then we go view uh, fit to screen. Um, then we've got, obviously we've made the image quite tiny there, but that would print out at exactly, uh, exactly that size. Oh, let's just step back. There we go. It's just handy to know, say you wanted to print out your image to put on a like a birthday card or something, then you'd know ex the exact size it was going to come out of your printer. Brilliant. Thank you for watching. Uh...